Hello viewers and welcome to Noble Tech. In today's video we'll be taking a look at the Meow Kit. The Meow Kit by Whitecliffe is a compact multi-purpose device designed for makers, hackers and developers who want power, portability and plug-and-play versatility. We're diving into a Kickstarter project that's got serious modular mojo. Whether you're into protocol spoofing, desktop widgets, or just want a sleek little tool to streamline your workflow, MeowKit might be the Swiss Army knife you've been waiting for. Let's take a closer look. Once again, I'd like to thank Whitecliffe for sending out the MeowKit for review. Doing a quick little unboxing, we can see that they sent out a 32GB SD card, which I've already taken out there. In the box, we get a yellow cable tidy, a USB SD card reader, a little lanyard tag, a GPIO wire. I believe this is for restarting the device. And we also get a very, very substantial USB cable in the box. Very heavy duty. In the box was also this very nice looking letter. Thank you, MeowKit. The MeowKit is a pocket sized multi tool device for AI chat and MCP control, protocol hacking exploration, DIY hardware expansion, desktop gadget integration open source SDK and more. Built for makers and hackers, it's designed to be a powerful yet easy to use development platform. It's an all-in-one solution that replaces the clutter of exposed PCBs and jumper wires with a swipeable, stackable and highly hackable interface. Whether you're prototyping, testing or just tinkering, MeowKit gives you a clean, modular way to build and explore. The core capabilities include AI chat and MCP control, Bluetooth beacon spoofing and protocol manipulation, GPIO expansion for DIY electronics, real-time system monitoring, bad USB emulation for HID testing, Wi-Fi based SSID spoofing, infrared hardware which is currently not functional, air mouse functionality for gesture based control, open source SDK for custom app development. The Meow Kit connects via USB-C or Bluetooth and supports drag and run deployment so you can switch apps without reflashing. That's a huge win for rapid iteration and multi-role workflows. So once you've turned on the device, you press the A button, and then you press the B button, and we are into the device. So let's talk about the physical build and onboard features. The body of the Meow Kit features a 3D printed enclosure that's lightweight and functional. It's designed for utility, not flash. It has a CNC machined 6061 aluminium lanyard loop, which adds durability and makes it easy to carry or clip to your gear. It has a large built-in screen that lets you swipe between applications, up, down, left and right, with no need for serial commands or external interfaces. It also has A and B buttons for interaction. They're a little stiff at first use, but soften over time. For connectivity, we have two USB-C ports. The one on the left for flashing, and the one on top for power. For charging, just plug in your USB-C cable and the red LED will turn on, indicating charging. When the LED turns off, you know that the charging is complete. Additional onboard features include infrared. The hardware is present, but the firmware is still in development. Wi-Fi currently supports fake SSID spamming. Bluetooth currently targets iOS devices for spoofing. Bad USB for HID emulation. Air mouse functionality. You also have a dinosaur game, much like the offline Chrome Classic. There's music playback, PC monitor for system stats, a VU meter for audio visualization, a retro TV app, a web serial interface, a Mac app, and optional NFC module, which is planned for future release. The Meow Kit is plug and play ready with transparent BSP drivers and a multi app architecture that feels more like a mobile device than a traditional dev board. So let's take a look at the software. Meow Kit ships with a multi app launcher and an open source SDK hosted on GitHub. You can build your own apps, flash them via USB, and switch between them without wiping the device. There are two firmware paths available AI Chat and MCP firmware, focused on conversational control and protocol manipulation. This is ideal for spoofing, automation, and testing. There is also the MeowKit firmware, which enables the multi-app launcher and GUI-based experience, turning the device into a swipeable desktop gadget. Flashing the device is straightforward. You connect it via USB, select your COM port, and hit program. You'll need to manually reboot after flashing, but the process is quick and well documented, so we'll go through that now. So going over to the MeowKit GitHub, if we scroll down the page, we can see the instructions. So getting started. To start the firmware update, first you need to download the firmware. So we go over to the documentation. We click on here, 
and we click download zip. Once you've downloaded the zip file, extract it. Once you've extracted those files, plug in your Meow Kit via the USB-C port on the left. Once the device is plugged in, we go to the Espressive GitHub for the ESP launchpad. We click on connect, and then we select our device. Now for you, this number might be different. And then we click on connect. Once we have connected, we then click on DIY. And then from the files that we downloaded before, we select bootloader, partitions, and meow kit with these specific flash addresses. So it'll be bootloader, partitions, and meow kit. So we select choose file, and then we select the bootloader file. Then we add another file, choose file, and partitions. And then we add one more file, choose file, and in this case, it's firmware rather than meow kit. Going back to the GitHub, we can see that it's 00, 0, 8000, and 0, 10,000. So the first one is 0x0, the second one is 0x8000, and the third one is 0x10,000. Going back to the GitHub to double check, we can see that it's bootloader, partitions, and meow kit. Once we have the files selected and the correct flash address set, we then select program. Once flashing is complete, we then select Reset Device and confirm, and the device comes back on. So again, we press A and then we press B, and the device has been flashed. As simple as that. And lastly, make sure you disconnect from the device. Let's take a closer look at the Kickstarter campaign behind MeowKit, launched by Whitecliff. As you can see on screen, the Kickstarter campaign has already exceeded its initial goal of €5,480 and is currently at €43,739 as of the time of this recording, and they currently have 442 backers with 38 days to go. The available rewards for the Kickstarter campaign for the Meow Kit are the Super Early Bird, which comes in at $79. At the time of recording, there are only 88 left of the 500 units available, with 412 backers so far. As well as the Super Early Bird, we also have the Kickstarter Special at $99 for the same device. We also have the Early Bird, which comes with two Meow Kits for $189. And then we have the Early Bird with three Meow Kits at $289. Whitecliff are actively engaging with backers and plan to release additional apps based on community feedback. It's clear they're building Meow Kit as a platform, not just a product. So looking at the use case, who is the Meow Kit for? If you're a cybersecurity researcher, you can use it for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi reconnaissance, bad USB payloads, and protocol fuzzing. If you're an IoT developer, you can expand GPIOs, monitor system metrics, and prototype without a breadboard jungle. And if you're a maker or educator, you can teach embedded systems with a GUI-based multi-app device that doesn't require constant reflashing. So my final thoughts. The Meow Kit isn't trying to be everything, but it's trying to be enough. Enough to replace your drawer of half-used dev boards. Enough to streamline your workflow. And enough to make hardware hacking feel more like app development. That said, the firmware is still very much a work in progress. Currently, Wi-Fi functionality is limited to spamming fake SSIDs. Bluetooth spoofing only targets iOS devices. Infrared is not yet functional. And RFID and NFC are unavailable for now but I presume these will become available once we learn more about the optional modules planned for future release. Despite these limitations, I am genuinely excited to see how the platform evolves. The open SDK, modular design, and active community make MeowKit a promising foundation for experimentation and development. If you're looking for a versatile, hacker-friendly device that fits in your pocket and punches above its weight, MeowKit is worth a look. Check out the Kickstarter page, grab a unit, and let me know what you'd build with it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more deep dives into tools that power the maker revolution. I've been Og, and until next time, stay curious and stay ethical.